What's going on PMPT fam? What I'm going to show you here is a quick little assessment to give you a little bit more information on whether or not um, you have better rotation going to the left or better rotation going to the right in regards to the thoracic spine. So that would be like your upper and mid back. So a lot of us are, especially now, we're cooped up um, spending more time on the computer, maybe spending more time on our phone, and what, what happens is we're getting into this rounded position in the upper back, right? And when we get stuck into this rounded position, oftentimes we get a lot of stiffness that forms in that upper back area or maybe even in that neck, and that can become very problematic. And actually, this can pro become problematic for people that have shoulder issues too because if we're in that rounded posture, being able to reach overhead is pretty tough. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna get set up here like Jen and she's gonna put that block between her knees to make sure that we don't get any associated movement in the hips. We're gonna go ahead and get a stick behind you. And if you don't have a stick, you can actually go ahead and just put your arms into this position. We're gonna make sure that we don't flare the ribs. So she's gonna tuck the ribs in. She's gonna maintain that position. Now, if this, I'm gonna, I'm going to orient you into the degrees of motion that we hope to have. 45 degrees is kind of like our baseline we hope that you have. And so if this is the starting position, this is the zero. If I were to take a line straight back from Jen's head all the way here, this would be your 90 degrees. We're just hoping for at the very least 45 degrees, which would be half of that, okay? So what Jen's going to do is she's slowly going to rotate to the right. And then when you start to feel that restriction, just be mindful of where you feel it. All right, pretty good. And then now she's gonna go all the way to the left. And so you can tell that Jen has the prerequisites that are needed. Um, this doesn't mean that she just ignores her thoracic spine because the more you go and progress through life and not address it, it will get stiff given the lifestyles that we have. So, this, at the very least, gives you guys awareness on whether your right or left side has more restrictions. Which side for you, Jen? Um, probably the left. More left. So now she knows this will guide some of the interventions that you guys can utilize within the um, thoracic mobility strategies we have. So why don't you guys give this a shot? Let us know how it goes. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you soon. All right, peace.